Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. Khush amdi. Ji aya nu. Khuye morakh. Wa khair aagale. Ni hao. Juna shumme. Wash male. Oh hai. Gonzaymas. Guten morgen. Ola. Boyor. Previat. Kaifa hal. Halish shuma chatore. Ahlan wa salan. Marhaba. Buna. Mucho. Gracias. Swabia. And a very amazing good morning to everybody who's tuned into PTV World. And I'm watching World this morning alongside the very fabulous, the very stunning, the very marvelous, the very ecstatic. Shiza Hashmi and Shahzad Khan. Hello, Shiza. How are you today? Definitely feeling so good after all of these kind <laughs> words. Thank you so much, Shahzad. How are you? Well, I, I do not know what to say about my health because I think that I'm a little bit injured and oh. it's because of the fact that I just got a little jazbati over something. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, while I was in Karachi, I think it was two or three days ago. So, what happened was that, you know, one of my friends who was uh, traveling from UK and he's very really massive, you okay. know, so he's uh, almost 120 kg. Uh, man. Uh -huh. So what he did yeah. was that he was actually going through my Snapchat. He was following me on social media and he said that, you know, you're hitting the gym. Hmm. We should arm wrestle. And I was like, okay, let's okay, arm wrestle. Yeah. Even though I won, but as a matter of fact, my elbow's not working. <laughs> wow, because you ignored his size? <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's what, that's what it was. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, whenever you get into things like that, please make sure that you warm up a little. And, you know, so now... I think it's been three days that I haven't been to the gym because of my arm. But other than that, everything's fine. What everything's about you? fine, absolutely. And Pakistan is lovely and everyone around the world is realizing that, you know, slowly as well. Yeah. Which is absolutely absolutely great for Pakistanis living over here already because we knew it's great, but we really wanted the world to come see it. But for a different reason, of course, people were not coming, what not. And also because of the new visa policies, yep. the revised ones. Yep. People from so many different countries can access Pakistan. And I'm so happy for that because tourism, of course, you're promoting how beautiful Pakistan is, but an experience for themselves. I mean, it's serene yeah. and it's stunning. Yeah, and thank you very much for saying that because I've got another story related to that because Saudi ladies and gentlemen, Saudi people actually updated their visa policy as well. Yeah. So wherever you may be in the world, you can get the visa in seven minutes. See, that's seven fabulous. minutes? Yes. Oh, Within wow. seven minutes, you're going to get the visa. And I think that it's fabulous and it's need of the hour. And we have seen Saudi Arabia emerge as emerging as a place where tourists would love to go, you know, since they're opening up clubs, they're opening up new avenues for people to come in. And I think that it's a great idea because of the fact that, I, you know, ideally, I think that this is something Pakistan needs to do too as well. But other than, you know, uh, kind of having a resolve with people who are actually the think tanks of the religion as well, or claim to be, I think that everybody needs to be a party to it. And then everybody needs to speak about it, that, yeah. you know, people, so that people come in, because people can be from different religions, they exactly. can be from different races, and they have different priorities. So, you know, give them whatever they want. All right, so there's a certain reason why we're talking about it, and yeah. without further ado... No, 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 really no, 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 do not give away the reason. Why? Because, because, I, I, want, because I want to ask you something. So how... Uh, amazing it is to travel the world and then how do you think that it is going to have an impact on you and the generations to come what are you going to share the stories uh, you know have what I stories will world? you i think you have you know you've been to malaysia you're going to china you've been to amsterdam you've been to a lot of countries Okay, just a little bit. I have, yes, absolutely. Yeah. But I feel like Shazad traveling on its own is such a big, big learning experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And especially when you're doing solo, because of course you get to meet with a lot of people, you get to be in situations that you'll never be in, and yeah. then you get to get out of them as well. Exactly. But ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about traveling, we're talking about Pakistan, different nationalities coming to Pakistan because of this particular person. Uh, here's the video, take a look at it, and then we'll come back to She's speak famous. With her. Ooh. <laughs> Meet Aline. Hi, my name is Aline, and this is my story. Aline is so interesting, I have to tell you her story in a list format. She grew up as a religious Mormon. No smoking, cursing, drinking, tea, or coffee. She went to church, got married early, and started a company with her husband. We made YouTube videos for a living. But after three years, she got divorced, sold the company, left her religion, and traveled for two years straight. Merry Christmas from Nazareth. For 16 years, she has not eaten meat, only vegetables because she loves animals. Sometimes more than humans. And after hundreds of hours volunteering with animals, she adopted a rescue fox. Not a cat or a dog, a fox. Her name is Kona. Aline is not only interesting, she is almost always in a happy mood. 
Dear Aline, ladies and gentlemen, for you, welcome to the show, welcome to Pakistan. Aline Tamir, how are you? Great, how are you? Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for finally making it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy to be here. So. All right, we'll definitely get into the conversation, but with Aline, we have the hosts from Pakistan. I have no idea why you're laughing. I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> no, no, there's, a reason, there's a reason, ladies and gentlemen, why I'm smiling. I'm not even laughing, oh, yeah. and, and it's because of the fact that Shiza... Uh, was always very keen to have Aline on the show yes. and she's a kind of tried from the last month she was trying to get you on the show and yeah. even you know, yesterday when we got to know that Aline will be on the show, it wasn't because Shiza actually got to that yeah, point. Yeah, that's true. But though. our producer was so helpful <laughs> towards us and you know, yeah. what we wanted to do that we finally managed to have her on the show and you know, the reason why she is here, well, uh, next up ladies and gentlemen, we have actually been joined by People Karachi Wines. Uh, I know that everybody is uh, very familiar with it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have actually been joined by Mr. Dani Al Sheikh. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. How are you? I am good. Wa Alaikum Assalam. So what good, happened to good. your pants, bro? Oh, bro. <laughs> fell on I the fell way. off literally. Uh, really? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> okay. Are you okay? Are you I'm, fine? I'm perfectly good. Thank you very much for to making up, it to the studio. I just had to wake up early in the morning. It's really hard, but yep. I'm trying my best. <laughs> well, that's good. Since you can wake up for your vlogs as well, you know, that first. Uh, uh, sunrise, which you actually have to capture, or stay no, up all night, you know, no, things like th that. This this thing is for the photographers, not the vloggers. Oh, oh my so god! So yeah, so yeah. The la last two hours are more important for us before the sunset. It's golden hour. Yeah. So it's more important for us. But in the morning, nah. Nah, no way. No, we don't get not it up in the thing. morning. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now this is something which I've learned that uh, vloggers do not really get up early in the morning. <laughs> is that correct, Aline? Though I wouldn't consider myself a vlogger. I okay. consider myself. Hmm more of a content creator. And I oh, do yeah, usually try to wake up early, but not 6 a.m. Not 6 a.m. All right, last because but not the least, ladies and YouTube. gentlemen, and the gentleman uh, joining YouTube. us from Karachi. He's actually the manager for Karachi Wines as well. He's none other than Mr. Bilal Mansoor. Hello, Mansoor. How are you? I'm good. You did? Absolutely perfect. Thank you very much for joining us. I love the dimple you on your welcome. cheek. You're welcome. Thank you so very much. Yeah, oh, you're cute. Thank yeah. you so very much. Oh, that's great. But uh, let's get the conversation started. So, Aline, I have uh, seen I a lot before, of your videos. I'm so sorry. Myself, but before yeah. Aline, speak to them about how they got Aline here. Because yeah. I think you've been trying for a long time. No, but this was a question which I, which I was supposed to ask Aline. That how did she <laughs> got in touch with her? <laughs> yeah. okay, okay, okay. The other way around. Go ahead, Aline. Please yes. let us know. Okay, so how did I come here? So about a year ago, I wanted to come to Pakistan. I get a lot of messages from Pakistan. Yeah. And uh, I was trying to apply for the visa. A lot of different people were being very helpful from Pakistan and trying to help me. I extended my trip in Istanbul just to keep going to the consulate and trying. They were very nice there. And they very nicely, after two weeks, were like, your visa is not rejected, but we cannot give it to you. But so nice they, though, nice they were so, It was really funny because they yeah. were like, we don't want to reject your visa, yeah. but we're not giving it to you. So they never rejected it. They were very, very nice. And then Danielle like, kept being like, you should come, you should come. And I was like, yo, I'm super busy. Hmm. I cannot spend another minute on this visa. Like, yeah. I'll come when it's easy. And he kept... She said she's, she's giving up. I was yeah. like, I'm giving up. I'll come in 10 years when it's easy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then every week this guy's like, elite, 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 come, blah, 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 blah. And then the e-visa came out and, and it was easy. And then e-visa <laughs> came out. Thank you so much to Zulfi Bukhari and Khan Saab. The e-visa was great. It actually, it actually worked. Because before that, it was really hard for her. I, I met her in Istanbul and I literally, and she told me uh, that, that she wants to come to Pakistan. She stayed there for like one more week. Nas left for Armenia, I, I believe. Yeah, he left and I skipped an entire trip. Entire to, to week for Pakistani visa and it didn't, it didn't happen. Yeah. Okay. So she was so angry about that. <laughs> I am happy that she didn't, she didn't say anything wrong about that. <laughs> but, but yes, but yes, after like, after trying so hard, so we finally uh, met, uh, th there is, she's, a, she's a daughter of a uh, uh, foreign minister, okay. Meher Qureshi, so she el helped her a lot. Arsalan Khalid, he's the focal person of prime minister. He okay. helped her a lot. But even visa, without so help, it's possible to get the e-visa. I mean, my friend... It was more quicker was, with the help. Yeah. It, like yeah. she got it in one day, otherwise you can get it in five to six days. So mm -hmm. it's super he, he, easy. He's our, my, my he's videographer. He's been traveling with you. Do you want to give a shout out to him yeah. though? Well, he's just mainly guy. because how long did it take you to get your Pakistan e-visa? Yeah. Only in three, three days, days and he three did not have days. Oh, wow. yeah. That's and why I'm mentioning And he's still recording and you know, I don't know why. <laughs> what's his name though? Julian. Julian. You know, you actually got a face for to make vlogs though. Yeah. You know, you know this is the he kind of face. He's yeah. on the video some days. Yeah. So. yeah. He yeah. Has and his and he's ladies and gentlemen, we're very sorry that we cannot share his face right now, but probably <laughs> in, you know in days to come he'll be making vlogs for you people as well. Absolutely. But why uh, very quickly, you know, what I wanted to ask was that why in the first place you decided to visit Pakistan and whatever the reason was, do you think that you've achieved it so far? 
So why did I originally want to come on yeah. this trip? Yeah. So I, I originally wanted to visit almost every country. Yeah. I mean, Pakistan is a huge country. You hear a lot about it. I mean, of course, the first thing is I saw the mountains and the lakes. Yeah. So the nature, I was like, oh my God, like, where is this lake? You know, I need Atabad. to yeah. go to this lake. It was Which Lake was Atabad. 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 Okay. And there's even more beautiful lakes. We went to Nalthar. I wish I had more time there. We got there right before sunset, unfortunately. So I'll need to come back to see it better. But that was the original reason. Mm -hmm. Then recently, I was really wanting to come because I actually have a huge audience in Pakistan for some yeah. reason. I'm yeah. not sure why because I never made videos here. Okay. But <laughs> I get so many messages from the women. And the women are like, Please come to Pakistan and like That's talk so about sweet, the women's though. issues and please talk mm. for us, you know. Yeah. So I, I'm going to make one or two videos on that. I haven't released them yet. Yeah. But you've been making some videos ever since you came to Pakistan, right? I've made, I've, re I've only released two and I okay. have three or four more that are Ooh. shot but not released yet. Released yet. Oh, yeah. nice. All right. We will definitely com come back to that because I have a lot to speak about, you know, how Aline is related to empowering women and whatnot. She's like, I already hate you. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, no, like, no, I don't no. want to talk about Come on, don't, don't say that. Oh, no, I'm no. kidding. Come yeah. on. All right. But to both of you, so were you with her throughout her journey? Yeah, and you yeah. planned the whole thingy? Yeah, we had yes. to be with her with, uh, with, uh, in all the journey because she doesn't know how to care, take care of all these things because she usually leaves her, uh, leaves her passport anywhere. Oh, yeah, I wallet lost and my the, <laughs> oh, wow. I forgot it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, she, she loves her getting things anywhere. So, yeah, so we had to plan things. It's not really easy to travel in Pakistan. It's mm -hmm. a little difficult, yeah. especially North Pakistan. But the point is, it's amazing. She was so excited about that. So we were helping her creating content, managing all these things. So, yep. so in few days, we can create more content. It's all about creating good videos, yes. more yes. videos. Exactly, and that's great. And ladies and gentlemen, I'll actually take a minute over here to appreciate what uh, Daniel and his entire team is doing because this is not the very first time that they are actually hosting people from abroad as well. And yeah. I think that it takes a lot of courage and initiative nice. to actually go and ask people to come and visit their country. And this definitely tells us that you I, I just want you, to you add one Pakistani. more thing. Yeah. yeah. I just want to add one more thing. Why do we do that? The point is we all the Pakistani create content creators, everybody helped us with this with this. Yeah. They supported us in this mm -hmm. cause. Yeah. But, but the point is we all we all have this content in our own language so it doesn't go out. Yeah. It doesn't go international. So we had to uh, make an international narrative. Yeah. So we brought this lady who has international following so we can build our international narrative. Ah. Right. So the point was that if she makes all these videos and if we change the perspective of almost 500 people then this is our achievement mm. yeah. if 100 people come to pakistan after watching her videos this is our achievement yeah. so that's the point wow that's and, the only and point. it's great and which is why ladies and gentlemen we're actually going to share a bit of content made by aline and the entire team as well go ahead take a listen and yeah take a good look Imagine you live in a house. It's a beautiful house. Sure, it has its problems, but you're very proud of it. It has gorgeous views, great neighbors, but nobody wants to visit you. How would that make you feel? This is the story of my friend Pakistan, the beautiful house that no one wants to visit. But why does no one want to visit? Well, the truth is, people think this country is... They think you'll get... This was the general impression of Pakistan that the media has shown and we have heard over the years. Pakistani army. But when you live in a home that you think is beautiful and everyone else thinks is dangerous and ugly, you will not feel good, good, good. This is why I'm so excited to share with you the home of a country that has a lot more to offer than you might have imagined. Once you leave its cities, you'll see that the nature is incredibly underrated, the geography is undiscovered, and the generosity of the people is unparalleled. The minute you enter their home, they will take care of you. Yes! Welcome you. Welcome to Pakistan. And definitely feed you. It's too big. Take it, take it, take it. Yeah, take it. Too big, I can't eat it. Sure, the streets aren't very developed. Yes, there are still improvements to be made. And yes, many people are still poor. But even if they're not rich on the outside, here they are very rich on the inside. You are welcome to our home. 
And I believe that this generosity is the true beauty of the home of Pakistan. Luckily though, times are changing. Pakistan is now opening its front door to all the world. The first thing they're doing is promoting and no, this video is not sponsored. They made the visa process much easier. So instead of taking weeks or months just to get rejected, now you can enter Pakistan by applying online, which means tourists like me can come and meet new people, experience all the nature, and see everything that before was almost impossible to see. Now I can finally visit Pakistan, and I can share with you the good and the bad. But most importantly, I want to share with you one message. Pakistan may not be the most obvious tourist destination, but it is a beautiful house full of welcoming people. And now, finally, its doors are wide open! Come to Pakistan! And the doors are wide open, that's true, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you, Barmish and Lean, for making such amazing, wonderful video about Pakistan as well. Thank you, Barmish Daniel. And thank you, Barmish, to the entire team as well. Thank you, Barmish Julian. Yeah, you guys have done a great job. Which is why now we're actually going to ask you which cities you've been to, what food you have tasted so far. And yeah, I can see that you're, uh, you've <laughs> already adopted the culture exciting. as well. You're wearing an adra, you the dress. Yeah, so uh, let's get started. So I started in Karachi, went to Lahore, went to Islamabad, Gilgit, Hanza, Pasu, Pasu and yeah. Naltar. Naltar. Naltar, wow, that's yeah. great. So, so that's quite a lot of places. More than we've been. Yeah. And, yeah, we have not, we've not been to Hunza and Naltar and really? Pasu yet. Really? Oh my gosh. We were here yeah. today, so... Mm. Oh, I got to escape. <laughs> so, all right, there was one very interesting thing in this video that Pak there are certainly some poor people, but they are so not poor, you know, from the inside, which is so beautiful. So tell me about your experiences with them. You had girl meetovers as well. You had been interacting with a lot of fans as well. Yeah, I've made a huge, huge effort here, more than any other country, to interact with the wow. people. In each country, I normally have one meetup because meetups are time consuming mm. and exhausting. Absolutely. Um, and here, I think I had six oh, meetups. Wow. And I normally have one. So I had two in Lahore, one for only women, one for wow. men and women. Hmm. Or, sorry, Karachi. Another one, another two in one Lahore. One in Lumps, Lahore. Another one at a university. Another one yesterday here in Islamabad. Yeah. yeah. Another and one today, maybe. And maybe another <laughs> mini one today. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, but that's so. like a lot of work because you're also leaving today, but still you have to do a meetup, you have videos to do, whatnot. It's really difficult. Yeah. It's very difficult. I'm constantly exhausted. Mm. I'm constantly drained. I don't have time to have fun or socialize. It looks fun in the videos. <laughs> But I am just working all exactly. the time. That's how work trips are. <laughs> this is what Chazad and I were discussing early in the morning as well. But all right, for you both, uh, do you guys get to sort of arrange the meetups and do you guys get to, like, you know, control the crowd? <laughs> yes. uh, we try to control the crowd. Yesterday we were in F9 Park, so mm -hmm. there were like uh, 50 people came. And then, uh, like, after a few minutes, I saw 100 people out there were waiting for uh, them to... Take, take selfies with her. Oh, yeah. And I was like, who are they? But the point is, they were our boys, you know? Yeah. Yeah. They were like, our boys, they were like, who is she? Oh. Yeah. I was like, bro, you need to know that who is she first. Mm. If yeah. you tell me who is she, then I'll let you, Go. let you oh, take the picture. That's with yeah. smart, actually. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. you know who is she. Then, yeah. Because they didn't, they, they didn't recognize her. They just saw that she's probably a foreigner. So, yeah. uh, mm, selfie time. Yeah. Selfie time. Yeah. <laughs> so there are a lot of things like that, but it's okay, it's okay. The point is, they are they are friendly. Everybody is friendly. Of course. Okay. So it's not a big deal. It's not a big problem. It's not a big hurdle in Pakistan. Oh, well, right. yeah. Yeah, but you moving on, you know, uh, since Daniel, you know, you write a lot of emails to a lot of people out there so that they come and visit Pakistan. How about people writing to you and so that you can go and visit their countries as well? Does that happen a lot as well? Ah, it comes definitely from India. Yeah, from and India, then? it 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 happens a lot. It happens a lot. Exactly. Because the last time I did uh, this trip with Drew, the last time. Uh, and there is a there is a content creator in India. Maybe you know his name. He's the biggest YouTuber of India. His name is Bhuvan Bam, BBK Vines. He's oh, very, yeah. Very yeah, 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 yeah. He's very popular. <laughs> He's a very good friend of ours. So hmm. we started together. Karachi Vines and Bhuvan Bam. We started together. Oh wow! wow. You did, guys should definitely we, do a collab. We did a collab. We did a collab oh. at that time. So now he has like 15 million subscribers. Wow! So he always asks me to come to Pakistan, yeah, and then yeah. and his his followers and a lot of followers of him asked me to come to come to India. Hmm. Wow. But 
I wish it yeah. happens. Oh, yeah, it will, but Bilal, I have a question for you. You know, you are the sort of connecting bridge between these two parties exactly. and you're always the manager behind the scenes. Do you ever feel like you're probably going to one day just venture into filmmaking and be the face of it? I think he's just no. happy being affiliated with Karachi Wines. Yeah. <laughs> look at this smile. I'm here. here with being Karachi Wines because Karachi Wines is hosting, yeah. has hosted in past Drew as well and now Aline as well. But the po problem in Pakistan is that we have to coordinate with the departments, law mm. enforcement agencies. Yeah. For the moving, for arranging the meetup, so that they won't be creating any problem there. Yep. So I usually coordinate with the departments and institutes in the Pakistan, so that she won't yeah. be having any problem here. And this is what I wanted to ask: that you know, a lot of times when you get into these processes where you have to go to see somebody, you have to seek for permissions and whatnot, it can be very hectic, yeah. right? So what do you what do you actually have to do? Do you have to talk to a lot of people? Does PR come into it as yeah. well? And then do you tell them, okay, Definitely. we can have food later? Things like that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's basically a concept of give and take. So, first of all, I always used to ask Daniel or the content creator who is yeah. coming to Pakistan, what actually the plan is. Yeah. So, we should accordingly coordinate with the concerned departments yeah. and then everything should have to be pre-planned. Okay. But right. unfortunately, they are having their own type of work to do. Yeah. So, they came and said, no, this should not have to be done like this, so we have to change the venue. Yeah. So then you have to start it from the zero to coordinate with another department of another hmm. domain. So and what if there's a sudden change in the plan? Or yeah. you know, Ali thinks, okay, you know, I'm you not going to Istanbul. I want to go to Lahore today. Yeah. So it how, happens. How? It happens in Lahore. Okay. <laughs> I took the permission of Bagh Jina. Okay. But I was in the office of PHA. Yeah. And suddenly I see my Instagram, and she already had announced it <laughs> that it will. It will, must have to be at Minare, Pakistan. <laughs> so. I was like, what like, I have okay, to do? <laughs> and, it's, and it's Friday, next day is a yeah. weekend oh. and it's officially off in Pakistan, yeah. so we can't coordinate tomorrow. Yeah. It's 4 p.m. already and yeah. I'm coordinating with them. So what did you do? So at the 11th hour, I It happened <laughs> yesterday as well and then, then, you know, our boys, they came that, who is this? What's going on? Good Why everybody's on. dancing? <laughs> yeah. Who is, what's going on? Because, I because made they, everyone they came in their dala. <laughs> <laughs> it happened yesterday at Islamabad F9 Park, so we coordinate with them. We make a call to their senior officers that we have already called, but unfortunately they haven't intimated to the lower ranks. Yeah. Right. So they came, just came and asked what happened. It's their duty, they have to. Yeah. Yeah. So let's just say you are actually the backbone of this whole procedure because of course if I he couldn't yes, manage this, there's, no, there's no dear Aline that. trips, but there's no vlogs. <laughs> I could no, not but do it won't be happen him. without the Daniel support and my yeah. whole entire oh, team. Oh, come on, you guys are so they, He motivates me a lot, so... Oh, good. We are here. Okay, so it's a teamwork, right? <laughs> it's a teamwork, yes. Yes. All right, yes. time now to talk about something just bati, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, By just bati, I mean emotional. Oh. Tell me, I know about it, but tell everyone who's watching right now talk about Girls Gone Global. It's a Facebook group, but what about it? How did it start and what was the like motive behind it? Yeah, so as you as we talked about a little bit earlier, Girls Gone Global is a Facebook group only mm -hmm. on Facebook, and the reason for that is I can control the privacy settings. Okay. So it's one year old approximately, and in one year we've had over 120,000 women join from around the world, wow. totally organically. Mm. Uh, so women tell their friends, and the reason I made this group is essentially so women in um, different countries can mm -hmm. make friends with women in other countries, which maybe have different women's rights, right? So in right. developing countries there might be more. Um, difficulties discussing your issues with friends and family so it's nice to have a group where you can talk to girls in the US in in Europe Absolutely. in even anywhere South America Africa everyone can talk to each other and you'll notice that women are having the same issues all around the world mm. and now in this group they can support each other from all around the world right and Absolutely. girls have found jobs through that group girls wow. have met each other and become best friends like it's crazy yeah. yeah right and also one important thing you know because I was traveling alone this summer and I I, I really felt like, you know, I knew some Pakistani or even some girls out there, right, yeah. I could yeah. hang out with. So this is important for that as well. But, yeah. Aline, my question, um, we're not talking about tourism right now. We're not talking about the absolutely breathtaking places in Pakistan because <laughs> we know they exist. But you had a certain perception of Pakistan, the society itself, or let's say whatever you've heard about Pakistan. Was yeah. it the same? Is it any different here? So I actually got asked this question at the meetup, and I know people want me to say it's really different than I expected. No, I'm, I, I have no expectation. <laughs> say whatever most you want. Most people like, yeah, most yeah. people like, uh, they want to hear like, oh, it's totally different. Yeah. But I, I've traveled a lot, you know, I've, I, I, as, as you know, I've been to 70 plus countries multiple times. It's yeah. not like one time in each okay. country. And I researched a lot, so I kind of knew what to expect in Pakistan. All right. And it is what I expected, which mm. is a very diverse place okay. yeah. with different treatment of women and issues in different areas. Okay. Yeah. okay. So, of course, there's women like you and me yeah. who have like pretty much normal life access. Exactly. And then there's women um, maybe with more conservative or traditional families mm. 
that you know can't go to a cafe with her friends at night, right? So there's it runs the gamut. Mm -hmm. So that's what I expected, and that's what I saw, and I expected a difference in you know infrastructure depending on the area. I yeah. think the one thing that honestly did surprise me is Pakistan is. Um, a lot like cleaner and more organized and developed Ooh. actually than I expected. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the truth. Okay. Yeah. What about yeah. food, Aline? Oh. Yeah. The, oh, the food did surprise me. The food surprised me. I'm strict vegetarian. Yeah. I do not eat meat. I do not eat How things. did you survive in Pakistan? We're all about meat. Yeah. Right? But we make, yeah. we make our survival. Yeah. Yeah. We make a special... Yes, we have us. dal, lentils, oh, no, but yeah. not and all the sabzi. You guys have, like, we went to this castle restaurant okay. and they made me all vegetarian food. <laughs> yeah. I don't know the name of it, but it was really <laughs> good. Uh, and they made me soy versions okay. of all yeah. the meat, like soy kebabs, okay. soy... Soy meat. Yeah. Chapli kebab. Soy soy pa so kebab. basically Chapli. vegan food everywhere. Yeah. I managed ate to get so it. much good food here. Yeah. I'm so in shock. I'm so picky and I love the food. Well, there, that's there, great. Ladies and, <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, you know, I think that it's about time that we actually give you a starter pack too as well, you know, because uh, I was watching one of Aline's video where she said that, you know, how she saved a lot of money to actually oh, go around the right. world where she actually never opted for a car. She, she rode a bike and then she made sure that she's going to eat uh, at home just to save money, not to give out maintenance money and whatnot. But then at the same time, you know, living that kind of life, don't you think that it's a little difficult when you're getting started that, you know, for all of what you want to do in life, hmm. you're sacrificing over it to do something bigger in a matter of two years or five years or ten years. How was that part, that phase of your life? It was, I mean, I was in university, yeah. so I was a full-time student and I would always take an extra heavy course load. Okay. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. And then I was a scholarship student, so I wasn't supposed to work more than 20 hours, but I secretly worked... 40 to 60 hours oh. while a full-time student. So it was completely exhausting yeah. to yeah. an insane level. Yeah. But to me, it was worth it because if I had to be in the winter in the snow walking to school with my crappy broken shoes mm. every day and not have something to look forward to, I wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah. So saving every dollar I spent, I would literally think about actually India because I knew India was cheap. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I could buy this book for $10 or this this you know this lunch this fancy lunch for ten dollars or i could sleep for two nights in india yeah so then i would be like i, I would rather sleep two nights in india yeah. at, a, mm -hmm. at a hostel so and you're speaking of ten dollars you can actually buy like a whole lunch for two dollars <laughs> in pakistan yeah yeah, yeah. Cheap. yeah. no ten dollars even in where i lived is expensive lunch you yeah. can get five dollar lunch yeah. but you know every day there's always things you can spend money on yeah it's so easy to spend all your money yeah it's so yeah fast it can just disappear mm. and when you're only making a little bit of money you have to be i was insanely restrictive yeah. like teach me yeah <laughs> yes, it's so worth so it think about what you're gonna get so and that's a lot of control right have. you know and yeah. and this is where where i wanted uh, you know uh, people to come as well ladies and gentlemen so we've reached to a point where we're actually talking about self-control <laughs> And to yeah. reach to a point and to be a legend, I think that it is very important for anybody to be disciplined, to be in routine and to have that control. Because we guys over here, you know, we, you know, we go out uh, with our mothers and sisters and be like, okay, you know, I should probably buy this shoe. Right. Whether we need it or not, I don't know why. We are very impulsive in nature. Hmm. But to kill that impulse is very important <laughs> that you did that. So, you know, hats off to you, you know, Thank because you. you've done a great job as well. Thank Moving you. on, Daniel. Now, what kind of content your followers are actually expecting in days to come as well from us yes the point is uh so it's been five years almost uh so we have got this karachi wise we make uh comedy sketches but based on social issues so we just highlight those issues in a very satirical yeah. satirical way hmm. and then uh, i have other uh, another channel for food and travel hmm. that's food and travel niche so yeah people Pakistanis love food yeah yeah we, 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 we live we live Karachiites as well. Yeah, yeah. We live for food, so they love that content as well. <laughs> so yeah, th that's a mixture of two, both platforms. Exactly. And ladies and gentlemen, these are the only two things which we can offer, you know, out in the comedy? open. I'm sorry for Comedy and right. food. <laughs> yeah, comedy and food. You know, these are two things which Pakistan is great with and even hospitality. But, Absolutely. you know, at this point of time, we're actually going to share one of Karachi Boy's video too as well. Go ahead, take a look. I don't know whether it's, uh, it's the comedy one or the food one, but let's, let's see. Let's find out. It's both. It's both. <laughs> Hi, 
एक काम करें छः आलू के समोसे दे दें एक तरफ और छः आलू के समोसे और छः कीमे के रोल जो है ना वो एक तरफ कर दें और चटनी दोनों में ना अलग अलग डालिएगा अरे भाई यहाँ बंदा गिर गया आपको अपने समोसों की पड़ी यार कोई इंसानियत नाम की चीज़ होती है अरे यार इसको छोड़े यार उसे हमारा क्या डालू आप अपना काम करें प्लीज चटनी डाल दी ना आपने बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया जनाब भाई हटो हेलो हटो क्या चल रहा है यार ये हाँ भाई ले लिए समोसे उठ यार उसकी तबीयत अरे कोई तबीयत खराब नहीं है समोसे ले लिए ले लियो ना ले लियो अरे यार अरे यार चटनी डलवाई है हाँ चटनी डलवा ली अरे यार <laughs> so that's fabulous, ladies and gentlemen. That is very much Pakistan, I tell you. Yeah, this is this is very much Pakistan, but uh, yeah, this is what happens when you go to buy samosas in Ramadan as well, and you know, people over here probably uh, roti, I th- roti. Yeah, yeah I, I think roti. that we are actually going to take another twenty years to think about uh, standing in queues or you know, be <laughs> be disciplined as well. Because yesterday I actually saw a picture which was from Thailand, okay. and there were a lot of people who were actually waiting for their turn. So what they did was they actually took off their slippers. One by one, and then sat down. So I think that this was a brilliant idea as well. But over here, ladies and gentlemen, we are so kind of impatient that we want to get things in the first place. You know, you know, we just we we just have this urge of getting things first. I don't know. We're so impatient. I guess. Yeah, we are. I mean, just like that. I'm sorry. Yeah, we are. All right. Since okay, let's just talk about comedy right now. So you have to share probably the funniest or the most interesting part of your trip to Pakistan. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I think the funniest thing to me was a T-shirt somebody gave me. Which is? Yeah. And it said, "How do you say it?" Husn mera. Husn Husn mera clashin ko. Oh my God. And I was like, "What is this Beauty shirt? The Who gave me this?" And this girl gave me this shirt, and I was like, "This is hilarious." Like, yeah. Yeah. So that was true, funny to true. me. That that shirt exists in the first place. Husn mera clashin ko, ladies and gentlemen. And I think that we even have a song. Uh, alongside these lines as well, yes, I, and, and I think that I might have heard it as well. That's it's in funny. Punjabi though because it says it's a husne mera clash in ko, you know things like that. So it's it's literally a song. You can look for it on YouTube. But other than that, I think today you're looking for Aline and you're looking for Karachi wine as well. Two ladies and gentlemen. But right. you know when we speak about all of this, it is hilarious. You know it is fun loving. But then there's a lot of hard work which is going oh, into it. Yeah. And uh, recently we have seen that you know from the past two or three years. A lot of people who are content creators are actually focusing on, you know, uh, shooting the way uh, cinema is, or probably you know they're going way beyond their means to create good content. Story how much, improving. how much yeah. money does it involve? You know, just asking how yeah, much yeah. hard you work does it involve? <laughs> what kind of editors are involved in it? Because it's prof- it's it's literally pro. Yeah. So the truth is, um, the vast majority of my videos I do 100%. I shoot them, I script them, and I edit them. The video you saw, the first, the one about the house, I 100% edited that. Wow. They helped me with some shooting because they're here, but normally I'm shooting by myself. Okay. I'll, I can literally have you shoot. I just give you the camera. Yeah. I say okay, press halfway so it focuses and record. Just don't move, don't move. You oh, know. Okay. So I think that's what's amazing about being creators online is all of us can create our own content. Hmm. We don't need to depend on anyone yeah. else. Now that I've grown a lot, yeah. yeah. Now now that I've grown a lot, for example, Julian flew in to help with one specific video because it's a job. Okay. 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 So he's here for that video because it's for a client. Um, But anyone can create their own content. You don't need to have a lot of money. My first videos, you can scroll down to the beginning and see how crappy they are. Is like (laughs) shot on my laptop webcam. Oh wow. I put my laptop on a pile of books and I'm sitting in this room and I'm like, (laughs) hello, blah 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 blah. And then my next video. I was bored while my boyfriend was shooting, yeah. so I sat in a a, a big group of sheep yeah. in okay. like a Bedouin village um, in the Middle East, and I just put my phone on a rock and I shot the video, and yeah. it you know and it did well because people are looking for authenticity, they're not looking True. for fancy editing, yeah. they're not Absolutely. looking for color correction. Yeah. So that's it. But now now yeah. things have changed. I think that everybody's actually looking for it. Or you guys have made it more competitive. Let let me put it this mm-hmm. way. Because yeah. each and every vlogger or the content creator these days is trying to shoot better than the other one. You know, so so I yeah. think that it's a fair competition. Yeah. How does it uh, how is it going for you? Because for us, you know, the equipment is really expensive now. Now the exchange rates have gone. Uh, they're they're too they're, far, they're touching too high. the sky too yeah, as well. So how do you guys manage? I and how often do we have to update our equipment? I agree with the fact that uh, she she said that people are looking for content, people are looking for stories. She's absolutely right about that. But the point is, we have heavy equipments because we didn't we didn't used to have that, but now we have that. Now our editing is quite fancy. Things are getting better because we are actually learning. We are trying to be pro. 
Yeah. But I believe that this is not the demand from our viewers. Yeah. The demand is good content, nice execution, nice storytelling. Mm. It should be engagement. That, engaging, that's it. Yep. That's right. it. But the point is we are trying to be pro because we are actually learning. We don't want to repeat the same videos, the same kind of style, the same kind of edit. We just want to be more cinematic, more yeah. uh, more pro in every in, in every style, right, more absolutely. clean. Huh? Absolutely. Uh, more more clean, everything should be like perfect. So that's the point. I believe that content is, is still the king, mm -hmm. execution is, is still the queen. Yeah. So you need to <laughs> you need to work with that <coughs> both. And, and that's great. But which is why, you know, there's there was one simple thing which I wanted you to talk about and I've always been you know, I always had it in my head. And you know, I've seen you know you guys uh, are doing a wonderful job because you're focusing on, you know, objects, you're focusing on places and right. people. But recently what we have seen is that, you know, there's this latest trend where people from across the border will say some bad stuff about you and then you will yeah. say some bad stuff. So it's like blah, 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 blah. Mostly and so. people are creating such kind of content because they're so much out of ideas that they really do not know what to say yeah. rather than to abuse the other person. How do you think that all of the uh, vlogger community, all of the online content creator community gets along together? Because, you know, you just mentioned about a guy from India as well and then how good of friends you are. But on the other hand, d what I wanted to ask was, is it on purpose? People do, do it on purpose to just get some likes and views and then, you know, okay, you make a video about me and mm. then I'll make a video about you. And don't you think that it's kind of... You're lying to your followers yeah. or people who are out there who are actually watching out for your videos. First of all, I would say that it's mostly on TikTok. Yeah. And I don't support TikTok that much. Okay. But the point is, let's talk about YouTube. I know. I we've know, seen like, Vakar Zaka and everybody exactly, getting into Exactly, I was about to argument, say that yeah. LNP and there are a few, few Pakistani creators as well. I know that they, are, they don't mean to say that. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. know. I, I, I'm friends with, do, with those men, but mm. the point is, but the point is, I know that they're doing that I like the that line, I'm friend with those <laughs> men. <Yeah. laughs> yeah, that's I know, I know, but the point is, uh, the point is they're doing the, this for subscribers. Yeah. Or in the end, uh, and on that other side, there's a, there's a guy that, Hindustani Bhav, he's, he's getting so much, so much popular. In like three or four months, he got more than one million subscribers. One million, it took us five years to get that. Yeah. But, exactly. for, but hate works a lot. Yeah. And this works on the both sides. Exactly. Because we have amazingly... Uh, ignoring people in Pakistan mm -hmm. and 10 times more in India probably. Yeah. So this is working like that because of their population. Yeah, but thank you very much for setting the standard higher. I think everybody needs to learn from all of these people. But a good point but is Pakistani YouTube community when we say, when we see Karachi Vines, Muru, Irfan, Junejo, yeah. we all are super responsible about that. Exactly. And from Indian side... And do you guys get along? Hmm? And do you guys get along? Definitely or is it like a fair competition? Yeah, buddies. Okay, they're like good. best buddies. I, after every two, three months, I have my I have barbecue party at my house. Yeah. They all and come together. And we're never together. invited. Yeah. Huh? Because we're living yeah. in Samba. <laughs> we live in Samba. Are you going to fly to Karachi for barbecue? I might as well. I mean, if I'm invited. <laughs> <laughs> but all of these people are great. I think I've met right. them in person too as well. They're doing a wonderful job. They're very mellow. No, they're good people to chill so, with. Yeah, I have a question though. I feel like Daniel, last time when you were here, I asked the same question to them. Yeah, go ahead. But I'm going to throw it to all three of you now. Because, you know, whenever a conflict situation comes up you know mm -hmm. being a influencer you really have to make so you're expected to make a statement about it you're yeah. expected to pick sides but almost 90% of the time hold on it's okay 90% <laughs> of the time influencers choose not to and it's only fair because they think that their work their job is to create the content yeah. and spread peace through their work to all the communities thus they're not gonna pick sides some consider it to be diplomatic you know hypocritical whatnot why is it so is it true though so I personally will only comment on issues that I'm educated on. So like when people message me about conflicts between Pakistan and India, yeah. for example, they're like, hey, you should make a video about Kashmir. I'm like, <laughs> definitely not, not making a video <laughs> about Kashmir. Like, hmm. I am not educated. I do not know the history. This is not relevant, yeah. not for me. And if right. I was, maybe if I was born in India or Pakistan, I might make a video. And probably my video would still be diplomatic and say like, you know, land is just land. The fact that everyone's making a fuss over land, mm. like you, what's more important to you is ownership of land than lives. You know, yeah. that's mm -hmm. probably what I would say if I was born in one of these places. Right. right. But right. I wasn't, so I won't say anything. Right, yeah. so. <laughs> it reminds me of something that Hassan Minat said about Kashmir. It's Kashmir, guys, everyone can have Kashmir, but the yeah. people there did not understand. Because again, like yeah. you very rightly said, I think it has to come out of the heart. You yeah. have to feel for it, right? And I do make controversial videos on topics that I find important. So yeah. I definitely don't shy. I like tell I tell everyone 
Why are you eating meat? You know, yeah. why are you not supporting women? Da, da, da. So mm -hmm. if I feel qualified, I will. If I don't, I'll leave it to someone else. Well, <laughs> well, well that's great. And, uh, be, you know, before you answer, since we're very, uh, running out of time as well, we've got something special to show, share with Aline over here. Let's so do it. would you allow me to? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, before we get that answered by Mr. Danny over here, what we're going to do is that we are actually going to share a video for dear Aline. So, yeah, this one's for you. Let's do oh, this. Let's take a look. Thank you. So thank you very much, dear Aline, for visiting Pakistan. It was great to have you. And thank you very much, Karachi Wines, uh -huh. for taking an initiative and sending invitations to people who can come and be very helpful to Pakistan in changing our image and the image of the country. Yeah, just one more thing. Thank you so much to both of you, actually, because, uh -huh. Daniel, when we were in conversation before even she came, a lot of Pakistani shows wanted her to appear, yeah. but Daniel shows our show. So, yeah, yeah, yeah thank great. you. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. It's not much. that we are saying that we know that we are good, but yeah, thank you very much for <laughs> but we know. Yeah. letting us know. <laughs> we, said, we said no to a lot of, a lot of <laughs> things. Exactly. Yeah. We're just too yeah. busy. Yeah. Yeah. But and thank that you that. so much for that. So, Aline, this is your last sort of goodbye to everyone out there. This is a camera speak to Pakistanis or everyone around the globe. Oh, hi everyone. I <laughs> hope that all of you are able to do your best to follow your dreams and stand your ground and set your own boundaries for your own life. Okay? Oh, wonderful that is. <laughs> what, what would you want to say, Danny? Go ahead. Ah, I would say that this is what we do. This is what we have always done. This is our duty. Your duty is to spread or like share her video. Just yeah. support her content. Her Facebook page and Instagram is there, Ali. Go there and uh, support and share. If you have foreign friends, it's just tag them and just yeah. literally harass them. Yeah. <laughs> literally <laughs> pressurize them to share her video. And it's great. That's what about what you, Billy? What about you? What would you want More to say? More share. I just want to say that being a Pakistani, it's our duty to support our country. Yeah. We have been in terrorism, but now we are very much stable. So we have to work in all the four provinces and all the parts of the Pakistan for the development of the tourism and for the, for the betterment of Pakistan. All right, well, that's great. Thank you very much for being with us. It was lovely to have you. And yeah, come back soon. Yeah. Because Thanks you've so been to 70 countries multiple times. Right. We are expecting that too as well. <laughs> but for everybody who's out there, ladies and gentlemen, please make sure that you write to us on our Facebook page, which is with the name of... Well, this morning. On Twitter. Well, this morning without a G. On Daily Motion and YouTube. Also, well, this morning. And the fabulous is going to be at... 5 past 11 p.m. tonight. Till the next time, ladies and gentlemen. This, this was, was my show. show. See you tomorrow. <laughs>